So today we're setting up a super huge uh, Christmas tree. It's for a customer. They put it on their patio deck out here. I didn't measure it exactly, but I ordered a 15 footer. Um, and that's what we're gonna be doing. First we have to cut off this nice and flush. Right in here probably with a chainsaw. It's a really windy day, it's gonna get cold. attaching this piece of exterior grade uh, plywood. I've used this to over many years now and it's got a lot of holes in here but I found a spot that looks pretty good. We're gonna put a hole through that and then line up with the uh, base. We're gonna see where that hole comes through first. Then we're gonna put a long bore uh, into there for a bolt. So that was a good pick much right on the money we're uh, aimed right at the center of this we want to be fairly straight it's not totally necessary and the angles all right too so yeah that's a little bit of an angle uh, you don't want too much using a very long bolt right here with a washer. And make sure you snug that down real good so it's starting to bite into the wood. Just like that. This one's from the year before or something. Oops. That's what we got so far. Then we're gonna put a few deck screws in, some solid areas there, and we'll have to build our stabilization posts. So it's actually a fairly nice day out here. The sun's been popping out of those clouds here and there, but it's windy. Uh, it's getting colder. You can see that playhouse I built. I built that like a year ago or so. I put the video up last spring. That was fun. So here we go, I got a set of lights I'm going to start running on this too before we set it all up. Okay, we also need to find some weight. I, I know that this one's here. That's a cool piece of metal. I like that. Um, with this brick, I'll bring that brick up. We got some stone over here. And I know of another one somewhere. Alright, here's our stash. We got for the we're going to be using these for the base that we just put on. That wind is going to be pretty intense. We'll see how this goes. So next we uh, cut out some braces with the miter saw. Okay, I usually try to get one in there to start with and I'll put some through the bottom on this particular one. I might have to adjust the tree a little bit still. Um, this is going to be the facing side. So I think I'm gonna flip this over and start putting some lights on. You know, once you got the base on this tree, it's e really easy to move around. I put another brace on because the winds are really strong today. They're strong enough, we've been losing power out here. Um, and I'm gonna put some lights on now, we're gonna stand it up. We wanna have a cinder block ready, like right at the area. Now we'll just throw this over here. Okay, here we go.
Well, there we go. It's a little off, but working with the blocks down here, I already pushed a stone under this platform. Just tried to tip it back. This is the bare spot that's going to be towards away from the house. So it's almost there. It's good to have some different pieces to play around with. Finally figured out that this would be good right, right there, and then we're putting all the weight on top. And we can, we'll get some trimmings and just put them around the bottom. Usually I let these this sit. Um, hopefully we've got the right side there. Yeah, this is the worst. I got 400 lights on this tree already and I need to get more. <laughs> Usually I wait a day and everything starts to fall. You know, you want the tree to the branches to fall back down. You can try to help them a little bit. Because I know they can be a little fuller. But we're going to get more lights. I had to add 280 more lights, so there's 680 lights on there. That's a big tree. <laughs>